what's the main thing you pass along to other men about how to stay healthy, about how to feel vibrant and not end up in a situation like you and I did where we um, blew ourselves out essentially? Mm, yeah. You know, I, I think probably every person on the planet can identify with this feeling of weight on themselves, weight on their shoulders, burden, whatever it might be from. Um, but it results in a feeling of tension and it translates into physiologic changes like uh, shorter breathing, uh, as well as, you know, muscle tension. Um, and then these things obviously can turn into like, you know, muscle knots and adhesions and even structural changes to the spine. So this is, this is a, a deep dive that we could go down, but um, there's a lot, you know, a lot to go, to go into there. But, um, you know, ultimately what I continue to learn is that what the process of healing comes down to is the process of removing those layers of discomfort uh, so that we can feel lighter and feel relaxed and at ease ultimately in any given situation. That's the goal. If you can do that, then we will have a you know, reduced activation of the threat response, which we'll get into. But as you know, I'm sure guys who are listening to this know, because I've heard you talk about this, Sean, you know, um, when we have certain past experiences or, or traumas, and then we have uh, certain stresses in life, what can ultimately happen is like a reactivation of this threat response in some very subtle and deeply subconscious way, the brain and body feels under attack. And it responds by doing those physiological changes, like the ones I mentioned, creating tension in, in the muscles and the jaw, um, but also drawing vital resources, vital energy away from necessary functions like digestion, healing, immune system. And so it leaves us open to actually, uh, you know, getting infections and becoming ill or more sick from things where otherwise our immune system might have been, you know, had more resources to, um, to stave it off. Yeah. And I, and I, I point this out because that, that was the biggest takeaway for me as well. on my independent health journey was, wow, if I was taking better care of myself before this, I wouldn't have gotten sick. And, and that's actually the reason why I think I needed to get sick was to learn how to take care of myself. And when I say don't, not just taking care of myself, I don't just mean like, oh, giving myself a bubble bath once a week or a massage. I mean, emotionally taking care of myself, mentally taking care of myself, not running myself down to em empty mentally at work or all these different, fa you know, spiritually taking care of myself. Yeah, I, I always like to kind of explain it in this way that there's there's really two sides to what's going on. Um, it's never just what is coming at us from the environment or what we're exposed to. If it was, then everyone would necessarily have the same response to the same thing. And we know that even statistically speaking, if a cold virus breezes through a room of 10 people, three of them will get sick and symptomatic while seven remain totally fine. So there's something else going on here. And that other thing is, you know, how and why the body responds. And that has a lot to do with some of the things that we'll get into, I'm sure, as we, we continue, which is, um, you know, these these uh, stressors that that change our stress response. Um, how how safe or unsafe does our subconscious mind feel? Um, how well have, have we been taking care of ourselves in the past, you know, uh, leading up to this? Um, and as you, you know, pointed out, it's, it's not just about doing those things like getting a massage or taking a bath to, you know, relax yourself, although those things can definitely help. Um, but it's also kind of getting to the root at why is that tension there in the first place? You know, why are those, um, adversities there in the first place and what can I do to, uh, not necessarily go back and relive them, but go back and expose and release them ultimately.